What's good peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right. Shit just got real. <laughs> Shit just got real, people. Face to face with the guy that you've been thinking about for the last six to eight months. Face to face with the guy that your trainer has been chatting shit about for the last six to eight months. Face to face with the world champion. Face to face with, I think, one of the best light heavyweights of this generation for so the last 15 to 20 years. Face to face with that guy in Russia. And not just in Russia. Face to face with that guy in his hometown. I didn't even know this. I, th I knew the fight was going to happen in Russia. I didn't know the fight was going to happen in Kovalev's hometown. I mean, we know that Kovalev is now based in America, but this is where he was... This is where he was brought up. This is where he was brought up. So when people say things like fighting someone in their backyard, what they normally mean is fighting someone in their own country. No, 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 no. This is fighting someone in their backyard. This is like Kovalev fighting Yard in Ilford. Not that that is intimidating. It's not. But this is what Yard is doing. And did you see him at the airport yesterday? I was going to make a video about this. That just weren't your normal average... Big airport, was it? I mean, every country has got one of those airports where probably like two or three flights come every day, maybe even every week. That's the airport they sent him to. Oh, Jesus. And look, look, fair play to Yard as well. Yard looks very confident. Looked very confident in the stare down, saying all the right things. He's almost taken all this in his stride, right? I mean, you've got to give him that. I think mentally right now, he's at like 100%. Right now, he is at A when it comes to his mental game. And I don't know if that's just him personally, or if Tunde's kind of built that into him in the last two years. Maybe it's a bit of 50-50, right? I, I don't know. Um, I've always said that the mental game in boxing is severely underrated. I mean, everyone obviously break down someone's boxing ability, their, um, their physical attributes, their athletic ability, but not many people talk about the mental game. And the mental game is huge in boxing. I think um, ask Vladimir Klitschko about the mental game Tyson Fury played on him. But I've always felt like the mental game is almost like key when a fight's 50-50 or at least 60-40, right? If you've got two guys that almost are in the same kind of playing field, if one's mentally stronger than the other, like when the going gets tough, everything basically, um, then I think that could be the thing that takes them over the line. I don't think this fight's close. I don't think this fight's close at all. So um, I think it's good that he's got a strong mental game and I think it's going to help him in this fight. He's going to need it in this fight. But I don't know if that's enough to cross the line in this one. Again, when a fight's close, 50-50 between two very good boxers, or not even two very good boxers, two boxers that just match up well, then I think the one with the stronger mental game will get through. Uh, this isn't that. This really isn't that. I've gone back and forth um, with this fight for a while since it was mentioned. Again, you guys know you've been watching the videos. When it was first mentioned, Yard had absolutely no chance. Um, and then Tunde kind of convinced me and Spencer kind of convinced me that, you know what? Yard has a chance, but not necessarily down to Yard, but more about Kovalev. Kovalev being a drunk, Kovalev having problems outside the ring, his former trainer that I interviewed the other day talking about it. And so I've been kind of leaning or giving at least more, more of a chance to Yard because of that, not because of Yard's ability. Um, I don't know what Yard's ability is, right? So it's difficult to go on. I don't know if Yard is there or there because we don't know. Uh, we can only judge it by who he's fought and who he's fought he's looked good against. But um, none of those guys are anything or anywhere near what he's going to see on Saturday evening, right? Um, look, we know this isn't the Kovalev of old. This isn't the best Kovalev. The best Kovalev I think I've seen, the most destructive forced Kovalev. Um, a lot of people will mention Andre Ward, which was a good performance. But for me, it was Jean Pascal. Both performances. That was like... Just a guy wanting to really hurt someone, be spiteful, use his jab, stay at distance. Everything was perfect. Um, that Kovalev no longer exists. But even if a 60% of that Kovalev turns up, it's going to be a very, very painful night for Anthony Yard. Very painful night. Something that um, isn't talked about, uh, and I think it's important, is um, sort of big fight mentality. Right? I mean, Yard and Tunde haven't had that before. Right? I mean, I know Tunde uh, is a boxing man. He's been around boxing a long time, knows his stuff. But that doesn't matter. I'm talking about big fight mentality. Having taken that walk to the ring for a big fight and win or lose, have done that. He hasn't done it. Kovalev's done it a number of times now. Twice with Ward, 
Pascal, Hopkins, even Cleverly over here was a big fight because he was coming as a challenger. He's done that. Yard's never done it. Yard has never done it. You can practice for all you want. You don't have the big fight mentality. When the going gets tough, I mean, will Tunde panic in the corner? Will he? Will his instructions be clear? So far, it's been easy going, right? So far, it's almost been a walk in the park. When the going gets tough and you need your instructions to be bloody clear, will he be ready? Will he be? He will say yes, but it's different. It's almost like um, penalties, right? You can get someone that can knock in 100 penalties all day in training. Do it in a World Cup final. Do it in a World Cup final when everyone is watching. It's a different thing altogether. So Yard is going in there for me as a massive underdog. Massive. Bigger than Tyson Fury, Klitschko. Oh, massive underdog. Everyone talks about Klitschko. I mean, Fury uh, versus Klitschko is one of the best performances in recent years to get that belt. And it was. This is even harder. This is even harder for me. Just because we knew that Tyson Fury was at least at some level. We knew where Tyson Fury was. We have absolutely no idea where Yard is. Which is the interesting factor, which is why I'm so, um, so pumped up for it. Because I don't know how good Yard is. I do know how good Kovalev is. And that's enough for me to say that Yard will not win this fight. Do I want him to win the fight? Absolutely. But I don't get patriotic. You know what I'm like. I want him to win the fight, but he won't win the fight. Because um, there's a lot left in Kovalev. That performance against Alvarez last time out showed me that this guy not only... You know what is? Kovalev has always been known as a, a puncher. Always been known. That performance showed me that this guy can still box. We forget that this guy has a great amateur record. He can box. He can box. So when the going gets tough, he can box, right? I mean, he can go and stand in the pocket with you and trade. He can do that. We know his power. But if he wants to, he can box on the outside as well. I don't know if Yard can do any of this. I really don't. I've actually watched a lot of Yard's recent fights in the build-up to this. And I'm telling you now, Kovalev is going to land that right hand at will unless they sort out that defence. That, that Floyd May with a shoulder roll, it's all good in the D-level. It's, it's fantastic in the D-level. I've seen so many fighters do so well with that shoulder roll against non-good fighters. I can't think of the word. Non-good fighters. That shoulder roll shit doesn't work against very good fighters. I mean, Adrian Broner is a prime example of someone that looked fantastic with that shoulder roll. Stepped up a level, got found out with that shoulder roll. Got found out completely, right? I'm giving in the same type of chance that I'm giving Luke Campbell to upset Loma. Again, away from home, big fight mentality. Um, there's so much going against him here, experience. Um, power, boxing, there's so much going against him. And I mean, this will go down as one of the biggest upsets in British boxing history if he can pull it off. I just don't think he can. Peace.